Alright, so welcome to another Connects Files video. And in this video, I'm going to briefly go over a couple telescopes we have. This here is, as you see, the Jupiter. And it's, I had this thing for quite a while, since early 2000. And I really like it. Um, the only thing is, the eyepiece is not a 1.25. I have a DSLR camera, a Canon, this older model as well, it's a T1i, um, but it works pretty good, but um, it was just, I will show the video, it just didn't work, I wanted to use it to do some shots of the moon and everything, but it, I just couldn't get it, the, um, the mount to stabilize, I made a little contraption for it but um it just wasn't sturdy enough I like to send a shout out to Kristen and his friend John down in Goldsboro, North Carolina. Came across this Orion Starblast 4.5 EQ that they had on sale on Craigslist and gave us quite a good deal on it. So we figured we're going to try it out. I can hook the camera up to this telescope because it has a 1.25 eyepiece. Um, slot so we could hook the camera up direct but I want to use a tablet as well um, that's the hookup we had when we were running the Jupiter but I had to set it all in a chair and cords everywhere so came up with a little concoction and we're gonna give it a shot and we're gonna hook it up and show you how we went about it okay like I said, I want to hook the camera up to this so we can use the camera to do a capture. This here piece, it came up there and all you have to do to remove it is just has a little slot right in there, a screw that goes in there, remove the screw and this here piece will come right off. I wanted to make a mount to hold the tablet because what I like to do to set a tablet up here so the tablet will sit and the camera will be there and everything I can view it from the tablet instead of trying to look through the eyepiece so what we came up with is a little tablet platform this here will hook in here like this make sure you get it nice and snug we countersink the screws so they will fit flush. Okay. That will fit up there like that. Then as far as the tablet, the tablet will sit up here just like that we just used a couple of the clamps to hold it put a little piece on the inside a little felt piece so it won't scratch the lens It'll be a little bit more softer on the um, tablet ok 
Is that a hold that in place? course we'll just take these just kind of loosely fit them up here some kind of way probably come up with a way to secure a little bit better than that but that'll do for the meantime like I said we have a Canon um, what is it Rebel T1i we'll be using with this setup got the adapter for the telescope I already have a lens down in there You can, I came across the, um, it's the EOS uh, setup for Canon, which will allow you to view Canon through your monitors, your laptop, your tablet, computers. So we've installed that software. Okay, so once all that is in place, Turn your tablet on. Now when you turn the camera on, that will activate software. Yes, it's EOS utility. Switch it over to live view. Open up your live view shoot. And there you have it. Um, you don't have to worry about it, the image being reversed. Although when you look through it, it will. But it has a down here where you can flip it. You can rotate the image. So you don't have to worry about you know, rotating and in the camera. That's our basic setup for this. It was pretty cloudy out earlier today. We're expecting rain tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping the clouds will clear up a little bit so we can take it out and get a couple shots. But if we don't make it out tonight, we will be doing some videos, getting some captures. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.